Hello everyone. Welcome back to the playlist regarding how to create a virtual assistant using Python with Brian. So today's video is going to be very, very important as you will learn how to make a reminder system completely through Python and no using any, you know, libraries or modules at all. We will make it completely through ourselves. So how are we going to do it? I'll show you. We just need one specific library because we are going to trigger a Windows system notification as well to remind us what the reminder uh, at the specified time with the specified reason. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. So to import the specific library that I was talking about, we need to write that and that library is it's called win 10 toast. Okay, I'll write that right now. Okay, so it is you can just write as import win 10 toast from win 10 toast import toast notifier. Okay, from win 10 toast import toast notifier. Now we have just imported this library, but we have not installed it to install it just like I showed you in the first video. Follow the same steps, click on the Python interpreter, interpreter settings, and here click on the plus sign, just type the library name, win 10 toast. See, there you go, you got it, click on it, install package, and there you go. So it is already installing the package, the package has been installed, click on this cross, okay, yep, see here it is installing the packages, it has been installed, okay. So Winter Toast has been installed. We have imported the module, so that is done. Now, what has to be done is we will, you know, create a function for this uh, reminder system, and we will call that function whenever required. So I'll show you how that's done. First, we'll create the function itself. So how it's going to be is that define reminder. seconds now you'll be wondering that why i gave this name for this function it's because you can have the reminder with minutes with hours as well but we cannot waste that much time that remind me in these many hours or these many minutes i have kept only the reminder seconds function here you can do the same for the minutes and hours also so then i'll show you how the reminder seconds is done so basically you'll have to just say okay uh, assistant remind me in these many seconds so after that many seconds it'll uh, give you a reminder that Okay, Brian, this is what you told me to remind you. And it will also send a Windows system notification saying that this is the reminder you had asked me for. Okay, cool. So let's, def uh, let's uh, define a variable called reminder seconds as global. Global uh, reminder sec. Okay. Date, time, time, everything has been imported, so that is fine. Now we'll have to write as print. what should i remind you okay remind ah, my bad copy paste speak there you go print what should i remind you as well as speak now after it is asked a question we'll have to say something right so again, we'll have to call the function called get audio, which will take our audio input and convert it into a string. Cool. So we have reason. We'll give it as reason is equal to get audio. Now, just uh, follow the steps. I will tell you why we have done what we have done. Okay. So now G is equal to Z. And now is equal to date time dot oh come on date time dot now okay i'll tell you what that g is equal to z means don't worry now we'll say g is equal to what g is equal to int i for i in g dot split 
if i dot is digit now what this line actually means is that we are going to check in the string now when we are talking to the assistant like how we said search on google or open youtube or something we will just say you know remind me in these many seconds so when we say that we will have to extract the number of seconds when we are specifying the string the audio so it has to understand right that okay this is the number which has been specified in the audio input extract that number make use of that number to understand okay this is the number number of seconds i have to remind the uh, user in that is what this line means that looping in the whole statement first of all checking for a number that means you are saying that for i in g dot split so we are splitting the whole uh, string into each word okay then we are looping into it checking for int of i how if i dot is digit so we got that now we are setting r is equal to 60 60 seconds then for r in range 0 comma r we're looping into it now we're checking if r in g so you understood what we're, what we're doing here we have first uh, looped in the whole string to check if there are any numbers in it now we are looping into numbers from 1 to 60 so then we are checking when we told it to remind us in these many seconds if that specified number is present in the numbers from 1 to 60 if it is present then it will remind us how it is going to remind us it's first going to write print i have set a reminder i have set a reminder for our seconds okay we can also write a speak function for the same but the problem is it does not speak the thing very correctly it goes a little bit uh, wrong i can give it a try oh come on uh, speak accepts only you know one string here we have given three parameters like i have reminded for comma r comma seconds that's why it gets a little messed up oh uh, okay now we'll specify a variable called current second is equal to now dot second same thing we'll do for current minute current hour in our okay now we'll say print current time is comma current hour comma current minute comma current second okay oh we don't need this current second right so then we are saying print the current time is current hour current minute current second after that is done what we are going to do we are going to say reminder second is equal to current second plus hour reminder second what is the reminder second variable we had set global variable reminder second that is equal to current okay what is it current second plus oh what is it r we're extracting the number of seconds from the variable r right g okay correct 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 so we're extracting the number of seconds from the string g comparing it with r when they are equal this is what will happen so same number will be in r right once it's compared so what we're going to do so what we're going to do is remind the second will be equal to current second that means what the current second is right now plus the number of seconds we have specified it so if it is 30 seconds now and we have specified that okay remind me in 10 seconds it will do 30 plus 10 40 it'll remind you in the next it'll remind you at the 40th second 
so we'll do that if reminder second is less than equal to 60 print notify at current hour same thing just copy paste this copy and paste yep so notify at we have done that we won't be able to print it because speak we cannot use the speak function because there are too many uh, parameters here so we'll leave it as is then we'll say now time dot sleep r minus 0 0.6 now, like I told you before, we are making the program, you know, sleep for how much time will be R minus 0 0.6. Now, why have I given R minus 0 0.6 instead of only R is because of a little fine tuning. If we give only R, I think it takes a little, you know, maybe one second or something close to a second. It reminds us late or something like that. That is why I have given it a 0.6 R minus 0.6. So, it will remind us maybe 0 0.6 seconds earlier. That will be the exact time. Okay, then I'll write print and white line print I'm reminding oh, you to okay reminding you to plus okay what is this string reason same thing we can just you know speak copy paste exactly this is done speak now we are calling in the library we had installed called toast notifier so we are saying oh toaster is equal to toast notifier and toaster dot show toast now what do you wanted to show brian string dot upper so here the first letter of the oh, printed string will be in capital reason comma duration is equal to five this also is in seconds so here what we are doing is we are calling in the reminding you know the window system notification is being triggered here where we are saying okay you print on the notification that brian plus this is the reason you had reminded me for so if i say okay remind me to go for lunch so it will say brian go for lunch and it will keep that uh, notification on the screen for at least five seconds that is what the duration is for now since you have given an if statement there has to be an else statement so else extra second is equal to remind a second minus 60 now what is this for like for example, if it is at, you know, the 40th or 50th second, the current time, and I tell, look, remind me in 20 seconds. So assume the current second is at 50 seconds, and I tell, remind me in 20 seconds. So it will add 50 plus 20, 70 seconds. Now there is nothing as 70 seconds, right? So that is why we have written this else statement that if it is exceeding the uh, 60th second mark, what you need to do is again start from zero. So 50 plus 20, what will do 70 but it is exceeding 60 so it will do 50 plus uh, 20, 10 will be 60 60 plus 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 seconds right my bad so it will be 10 seconds so extra second is equal to extra second plus zero Right now we'll say print notify at okay same thing Just copy paste exactly print notify at and actually we have to just copy the whole thing again it's the same thing paste time dot sleep absolutely print reminding you to reason toast notifier exactly the whole thing is same now we are given a while loop right 
so obviously we'll have to give a break condition for that hmm so we'll give that right here so break has also been given okay cool so this has been done now we have given the function now where are we to call the function i'll tell you that as well so now if remind in str text dot lower remind or reminder set a reminder for exactly so what we are going to say is exactly set a reminder for these many seconds so here we are going to say z is equal to string text i know it is obviously going to be in the string format only but still we are converting because when i had made this it was facing some issues so i had to do this so we are convert storing the variable uh, string in z so the input audio we converting it into a string and storing it in a variable z then calling the reminder seconds function where in the reminder seconds we had uh, see stored what was there in z in g and we're comparing what was there in g if it is a digit or not when it is a digit compare it with 0 to 60 and do the following work okay yeah so we'll just check how it works hello jarvis Hey Brian, how can I help you? Set a reminder for 10 seconds. What sold I remind you? Remind me to go and have a uh, fun. Okay. There has been an error. We will have to rectify that. So what we will have to do is uh, import again inside the function also i'll show you how that is done even though we imported earlier just like i had thought it creates some problem import time from that from date time import date time okay hello jarvis hey brian how can i help you set a reminder for 10 seconds what's old i remind you go and have fun exactly just like i had told you all the speak will not function here this was a problem and this should spelling has been wrong it is pronouncing very poorly yep hello jarvis hey brian how can i help you set a reminder for 10 seconds what should i remind you stop programming so see it will notify at 32912 12. okay maybe that's gone wrong 22 i'm reminding you to top programming okay so we have a bunch of errors here we can rectify them upper yeah upper hmm yeah now this is where we went wrong It's supposed to be remind a second exactly to notify at that's where we went wrong we set it correctly yep so remind a second is current seconds plus r that is what we need to notify at we are printing the current time and to notify at we'll have to print the rem remind a second what time we are going to remind okay so now the whole thing should work correctly we've rectified most of the errors Hello Jarvis. Hey Brian, how can I help you? Set a reminder for 10 seconds. What should I remind you? 
to stop programming and go and have fun. So see, it'll current time is 38. It'll notify at 48. So we'll just have a look at the time we have right on the right. I'm reminding you to stop programming and go and have fun. Okay, so there is this error still coming here. Now why is that? Oh, it's supposed to be string dot upper, and we have here is a bracket, which is wrong. I need to rectify that. This upper spelling also has to be rectified. Let me change my notification into, you know, off. Right, so we will see the notification as well. Oh. I'll just switch off my camera, thus you all won't be able to see the time correctly. Yep. Hello, Jarvis. Hey, Brian. How can I help you? Set a reminder for 10 seconds. What should I remind you? Stop programming and go and have fun. So it will notify at 24. Current time is 14. Let's check. 2, 1. I'm reminding you to stop programming and go and have fun. See, there you go. You have the notification as well. So you saw that, right? The Windows system notification that just came. Exactly. And since we said string dot upper, it all came in bold. So yeah, this also works. This function has been executed perfectly. We just rectified some errors that we had as well. So basically, yep, we have made our own reminder system within the seconds limit itself. I'm hoping if someone wants to create the minutes and hours one, it won't be very difficult. We'll have to just increase the number of seconds, like instead of Time dot sleep r minus 0 0.6. We'll have to make it r into 60 for minutes and for hours. I'm not sure, maybe r into 6400, something like that, because it's all in seconds, right? So for minutes, I'm sure it'll be r into 60. So how many of our minutes we have to hold it into 60? So that will convert into minutes automatically. So that is also done. So Thank you all for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much. Brian here signing off.